Assassin's Creed has just as many good villains as it does bad ones, and that's a lot. In this video, we are going to be going over the bad ones, specifically five of them. Not necessarily in any order, just gonna go over five bad villains in Assassin's Creed. If you disagree or have more to add, please do bear in mind that this is my opinion. The comment section is there for a reason. Please go ahead and utilize it. In this video, I'm gonna define bad villains by being bad villains, either by being plain boring or just unchallenging and quite pathetic. But without further ado, let's begin. So you can probably guess which one of these two made it into this list. Yes, definitely not the guy on the left. Manuel Paleologus. Bet you didn't expect that. Besides from being a little bit on the boring side, Manuel Paleologus was just bad at being a villain. He got the vibe, he sort of had no idea what he was doing, although the plan was quite keen. And towards the end of his little part of the arc, his demise is arguably pathetic. Here, allow me to jog your memory. I feel as if Paleologus was put in the game as a bit of a joke as opposed to actually being a character of severe importance. Either way, his demise was quite satisfying and funny. Next up, we do have Aloy Latouche. Latouche was half a villain and half a running joke. Outside of being presented as a joke, I never knew that Templars liked their bootlickers so much right up until we see this guy. Because when he's not muttering parasites from his ugly gob, he's sticking his waggling tongue in the rectal cavity of one of his Templar peers. Corresponding with the action genre's comic relief cliches, Latouche can only really be described as the idiotic bad guy who appears everywhere and is completely pathetic. Moving on, we have got Crawford Starrick, who is the main antagonist in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now, Crawford Starrick's probably the only, or one of two people on this list, who's actually a character that sort of does stuff as a villain. However, in developing the game, Starrick wasn't done justice, and he wasn't really presented in the story as much as he could have been. And no, saying his name every five minutes and having massive billboards with his name on them does not make him more present in the story. I do believe his only proper interaction with the Fry Twins is right at the very end. And if I'm completely honest, I wasn't a massive fan of the fact that he was completely made up and isn't in history in any way whatsoever. My biggest problem is the fact that he was underused in the game. And as much as the odd cutscene is all well and good, we want to see more villain stuff. Now, for a character that we've seen both as a mentor and a villain, he's more antagonising as the former. Yes, the fourth person on this list is in fact Achilles Davenport from Assassin's Creed Rogue. What's my problem with Achilles as a villain in Rogue, you ask? Well, you see, he doesn't show up nearly enough to antagonise Shay's plots, and when he does, he concedes to Shay, claiming that he's right. He's also just as boring in this game as he is in Assassin's Creed 3, which makes me want to watch the cutscene where Haytham shoots him in the leg on repeat for the rest of my life. Speaking of which... <laughs> and finally, we have got Francois Thomas Germain. I don't even care if his name is that. As a villain, character is everything. I don't even know if this guy has any character. He has the base Templar ideals and he likes to express them, but beyond that we don't really see much character from him. For me, this character, this villain wasn't very interesting, but he did have a cool boss fight at the end though. Wasn't the most challenging, it wasn't the best boss fight ever, but it was somewhat creative. But I felt no real urge to kill this guy. I didn't like him, I didn't dislike him, he was just there. Which made him very hard to define from other villains in anything else. So he wasn't really unique in any way whatsoever, and that's what made him a bad villain in my opinion. He was also a sage, which would be cool if I even liked the sage concept. But if you want my honest opinion, that's overused. But there you have it, everybody, these are five bad villains in Assassin's Creed, in my opinion of course, if you disagree or have more to add then please do let me know in the comment section, after all that is what it's there for. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, tell me what you think, and I'll see you all very soon in another video. But for now, so long.